All right, what we have before you is the Bakers and Chef Professional Food Wrap. And I, what I'm going to do is just do a quick video and show you how you basically assemble it, how you set it up. So here's basically how it works. All I've done so far is I've opened up the plastic wrap that it came in. I got it from Sam's. I opened it up and I opened up the, the film is nicely put on. So you just get the film. And then what you do is you pop this out right here. Just pop it off. And you pop this section right here off. There we go. Be kind of careful, don't, you know, it's fine. And then this part right here, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to pop it out. There we go. And I'm just going to bend it back so I can be able to access the wrap. And the wrap that's here, I'm going to go ahead and put it through it like that. And then now what I'm going to do is place the lid inside of the box. You forgot about this. Oh, as soon as you opened it up, this came with it. I apologize. This right here came with it. As soon as I had opened it up, this was attached right here, just like this. And the little slider thing was taped to it. So it was just like that. So what I had did was I took it out and there was tape stuck to it to keep it to the cardboard box. Just take it off and put it aside and don't discard this box because you're going to use it. Um, it has it on here. You'll see it. It says do not discard. So what I end up doing is you put this end right here up and you put it right here with the little niches right here on the box. The beginning of the box. So I put that in. And what I do then is I'm going to seal up the box now. So I'm sealing it up side to side. Perfect. Is that better? And then I'm just going to slide this on down. Do you think I should have it like this slid down? Yeah, it makes it so it stays down a little better. And then what you do is there's a sticky film here. Go ahead and take that off now. And right here it says place zip safe here. This is this the this, this safe zip. What you go ahead and do is you just place it where the lines are. You just go ahead and stick it on. Stick it on the box and now it's stuck on there. Which is what you're going for. Perfect. And then if you notice that the box it should move, but if you notice that the box moves a little bit, you can get some tape like this. You don't have to. Um, if you see it's moving, it's not moving, but if it is, you can just go ahead and slide. It should be inside. It is inside. It's, it's not moving. What do you mean? My husband made a good point. Instead of putting it, the cardboard box, yeah, if you want to just come around, the cardboard box, I had had it where I put it under it like this. That's not where it's supposed to go because there's no support here. Let me lift it up. Make sure you have the cardboard box overlap it. So that way you have support. You see it's not bowling down. It's supported now. And then one thing I'm going to do just because I'd like to do it is I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the box so that when I'm folding it, it's not going to lift up. Oops, let me get it off of there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put some down. Go ahead. You ready? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and I just put tape on here so that when I'm oh, lifting this up, the box isn't going to move. Now it doesn't say you have to put tape here, but I'm going to do it. I recommend you do it. So when you're All right. So what you do is Inside the flap right here, I just put a little bit of tape inside in the end, and then I put it on the side like this. So that way, this isn't going to get lifted up. So let me go ahead and put another one on this side. I just put some inside right there, and then I just lock it down. So that way, this isn't going to come up when I'm lifting up the thing. So just for a quick preview, put the thing there, and you slide it across, and voila, it's done.
There you go. As an example, I got some bread. And let's pretend this is a sandwich. Done. Oh, sorry, I didn't lift it. That was a user error. So let me just do another one. On behalf of your friends, family, and loved ones, thank you so much for tuning in and for taking the time to go above and beyond for them.